Oh yeah, steak dinner. Classic New York strips from Carnes. If you guys have this locally, I think it's only around here. Greek dressing from Gazebo Room. Best steak marinade you'll ever have. 12 to 24 hours, and you'll have the most tasty New York strips. About to do these up on the grill. Got the Craftsman snowblower all prepped for winter. Just did the rotation. Push mower in the back. This is going up front. Got some good color on them. I like to lay a little pat of butter on them, let that soak in and let them rest for about seven minutes or about as long as you cooked them. And then look at these bad boys and I fucking overcooked them. But still tastes great. My dogs love to go bye bye. Do you guys want to go bye bye? Yes, yes, I know. Back to brass tacks. Here we go. Freaking tears. There was frost on the truck this morning, which means car hard time. Damn it. Jeez. All right, load up. Let's get her warmed up. I'm not excited about the cold, but one thing I am super excited for is the snow. The ability to go out and help people that are stranded, like we did in this video. Oh, look at that. That's yes. dope. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. This is working good. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Oh my God, what is that? Stuff like that is so much fun, plus it's gratifying because you're helping people out that are having one of the worst days ever. Really looking forward to the snow. I don't think I mentioned this before, this entire driveway, the entire thing used to look like this and it looks way darker in person. But I did this entire driveway by myself all the way up there with that drafts tools thing I showed you guys, the power washer and like a $40 Ryobi part. That was it. And it did this entire thing. Yeah, very cool. We also, this is a Mercedes under here. I don't know if I ever showed this to you guys, but uh, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Back in the day, it was always my dream to get that thing fired up and running to uh, be my whip to high school. But uh, we all know what happened with my first car. Oh my God. Yeah, the Mercedes is cool. It runs and everything. We just fired it up a couple days ago. But yeah, it's sick. Obviously all factory because back in the day, you didn't really modify your vehicles that much. And then this is my mom's old rabbit that she has. She bought this off the showroom floor in South Beach. Uh, or no, it was Boca Raton. So down in South Florida, apparently these wheels are uh, pretty rare. These are hard to find. I don't know much about Volkswagen, so maybe there aren't. And then we have this monstrosity, the Colorado ZR2, which is my giveaway Colorado ZR2. So for selling vehicles, what's going to happen here? Obviously, I can't sell this because it's the giveaway vehicle, even though it'd be less of a headache than trying to give it away because giveaways, you have to hire uh, attorneys, third parties, take up so much time on my channel to advertise it, to give it away. So it is, it gets a little bit crazy. And I've had offers like this guy offer me 50,000 and this guy offer for me like 47 or something like that which is crazy i mean the car market was nuts i mean maybe you could still get that for it but if you guys want to spend a hundred dollars on it you can do that in the description on three supply obviously a hundred dollars for a poster is pretty expensive but it also gives you an entry and you're only up against at this point i think it's in the 700s for the amount of people that you're up against so your odds of winning are pretty great so the colorado is not for sale now that begs the question what could possibly be for sale well we have my Silverado ZR2 over here, which is currently about 30% more a month to make payments on than my house. Now we all know I did live out of this machine for a couple days whenever I was driving it back from Oregon, but still doesn't have the amenities that my home does. I forgot to mention this. I got the windows tinted, so that looks great. No more fishbowl in the front and the black just matches everything else that's black on the dark blue. But nevertheless, this truck is very, very expensive. Along with having something this expensive, you sort of have to risk it for the biscuit. You get some nice big dings right here. Luckily not through the paint, this happened in the video where I let my wife off-road my truck. Ironically, I was the one that caused that dent while we were off-roading. So if you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. It was pretty intense off-roading for the Silverado ZR2. Also a dent down here. And unfortunately, this thing gets chewed up. Those are all paint chips. These are all paint chips back here. And it's supposed to be like, not bedlined, but like this is definitely a more aggressive paint. They, they lay it on thick here, so it's, it's more protected. And this side, unfortunately, is even worse. Big, massive paint chips. I, You know, it's not through to the metal because it, it would have rusted by now, but at least to the primer. And that really just sucks. And that's the entire way down the side. And that happens from having bigger tires like this. These are only 35s, but they're pretty chunky 35s. And while we're out in Colorado, really kicked up some big rocks and just destroyed the side of this truck. Now, wrapping a truck is very, very expensive. Everyone asks me like, how much to go get my truck wrapped? How much to do this? How many? At this point, it's probably almost $4,000 to get your truck, especially a full-size truck like this, fully wrapped. 
fits with like a nice design, not just a flat color. But at this point, it has me wondering like, would it have been more financially beneficial to have wrapped the truck from the get could have made a video about it, possibly upset of the neighbors, and it would have protected the paint. At the end of the day, this beautiful paint is definitely taking a beating, and if I wanted to wrap it now, I could stop the bleeding, uh, but the damage is done in a lot of parts. So something to think about. But even with all its flaws, even though the majority of them are my fault and it sounds like I'm complaining, I'm, I really, I, I don't mean to be, I'm just pointing out facts. I'm still sticking with the Chevy Silverado ZR2. We're not chopping it just yet. I was reached out to by a company. I'd love to work together with them, and they do wide bodies for Silverado 1500s, not the ZR2 just yet, but they're one of the only companies that I know of that are actively working to make wide body kits and a whole bunch of other parts for the Silverado ZR2. That was, it sort of sucks because I got this truck because it was like, you know what? It's a Chevy, it's a Silverado. It's not like the Colorado ZR2 where there's very little aftermarket support, unlike the Toyota Tacoma, where you can buy any aftermarket part you want for it. I was like, I'm in the money here with the Silverado ZR2 because everything is gonna be transferable from a regular 1500 to my truck. That's not the case. Almost everything where you want an aftermarket part is different aside from like the drivetrain black hawk flying over we live really close to 40 indian town gap it's where i was stationed in the national guard and this is just a everyday thing black hawks flying over pretty cool so we're waiting aftermarket parts are on the way so if we're not getting rid of the silverado zr2 and we're not getting rid of the colorado zr2 then what could i possibly be selling this might upset some people, but it's just what needs to be done. I kind of need the money a little bit, and I'd love to throw that money back into the stars on the channel, like the Silverado. I'm gonna try and do this without the wind blocking me, but the Jeep Cherokee, we're out here at the farm. This is where this Jeep has been sitting for a while. I wanted to do a lot more with this project. Unfortunately, like I said, the channel is very, very expensive. I threw some sick newer Jeep Wrangler tires on them, and these actually have some pretty decent tread on them. So yeah, not too bad, and plus I have the originals here. So I got five of the new tires and four of the old. Brand new battery, Jeep Country Edition. I think this is a 1993 or 94. I don't know, pretty decent condition. Not anything horrible. Oh, Ooh, there's still a bee's nest though on the door. Hopefully that is dormant. Watch your head. Yeah, not too bad. This looks like a little uh, security camera in here. Oh, look at this. This popped out. Hot wire, kicks hot wire, let's go. We, oh, we got all the classics on here. Bump the Lala. <laughs> Heebie Jeebie Crush. Yeah. Oh yeah, just, it takes me back. Yeah, the Jeep, I think I have the battery disconnected right now just so it doesn't go dead while it sits out here. Yeah, battery's disconnected, so that should fire right up because it's a brand new battery. Uh, yeah, brand new battery in this thing, brand new tires essentially uh, with, with some good tread on them. Um, the only reason I'm getting rid of this is because, like I said, expensive to run the channel and uh, all this thing would need is some spark plugs uh, to run it. So if you guys are interested in buying it, you can, I, I don't know. I spent $800 on it uh, and then put a new battery in it. That's a little over a hundred. And then the tires were like an extra $500 I think I spent so I'll take a loss on this thing. No problem. I'll cut you guys uh, I'd say for YouTube uh, Facebook marketplace I'm probably gonna put this thing up for like 1500 But for YouTube for you guys seeing this if you want to come out to the farm and pick this thing up We'll say 1300 bucks and we'll just go from there. Yeah, lots of memories in this thing, man <sighs> Lots of memories The squirrel being in here still gives me nightmares. So yeah, the Jeep Cherokee leaving the fleet. It's unfortunate, but it has to happen. Uh, and we're gonna put some more money into the Silverado. Like I mentioned, it is so windy out here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. InChainDesigns.com right now. Dual giveaway GT500, the orange Halloween edition. We'll sit down here for some uh, some cover. One of the sickest Mustangs I've ever seen. I, I'm not, I haven't been huge on Mustangs lately. That one has won me over. It is the coolest Mustang I have ever seen. Very fast, uh, beautiful, and it fits the theme of the season. Imagine driving that around in your home town to take it to Halloween parades for God's sakes. You can just do so much with it along with racing. That'd be some sweet garage candy. And you guys can win that along with the Ford Bronco Sandblast Edition. That's got a retro kit on it. Looks so good. You can buy a couple of my products up here. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad, uh, but they're all on the screen. Any of those products get you a sick multiplier to be entered and you get some cool merch. Plus uh, my new Halloween shirt that's dropped here, the Mandate Freedom with the skull, rock and roll skull hands. I love that one. I got my partners in crime here. I love my dogs. They're such good dogs. I was in on the phone in my truck for like 30 minutes and they just snooped around sniffing, eating grass like we're not supposed to. Yes. Yep, there you go. Good job. They're like little cows. Thank you guys so much for watching. Likes are always appreciated. Say Jeep in the comments if you made it this far in the video. Say goodbye to the Jeep Cherokee. If you want it, uh, hit me up in the DMs on Instagram or email me down below on my business email. Likes are always appreciated. Subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Let's get this truck fixed up, wide body. 
and ready for the winter. I'm ready to go out and wreck some cars and play in the snow. Let's go.